guys today i'm doing an extreme bathroom deep clean so as you can see from this footage when i say extreme i mean extreme i cleaned from the very top to the very bottom you will get so much motivation in this video and then also at the end i have a meal idea for you super easy super delicious everyone in your family should love it so definitely stay tuned you don't want to miss it Hey guys, so if you're new here, I'm Jessica, but today we're going to be deep cleaning my master bathroom. So I have a really big master bathroom and I have like his and hers sinks and then we have a huge walk-in shower. I have a jetted tub and then a separate little spot for our toilet and so it's really big and there are a lot of places to clean. So I figured I would just make this its own video. As you can see behind me, I have not made my bed today, but that's okay because I'm focusing on the bathroom and it's gonna take me a few hours to clean in there. But I thought I would bring you guys along so you can see like how I do a deep clean and it's pretty messy in there too. Like not only is it gross, it needs to be bleached, but it's cluttered. You will see in just a second. But I just wanted to show my face really quick in case you are new here and let you know that I am so happy you're here. I'm so happy you found one of my videos and I hope you will stick around. If you want to hit that red subscribe button and stick around so that way you'll be notified when I upload. It's totally free. It just tells YouTube, hey, this person wants to know when Jessica uploads and then they will send you a notification and that's it. So let's go ahead and I'm going to take you in the bathroom. I'm going to give you a quick little tour of it and then show you the mess, the before, and then we'll get started cleaning. All right, so we have stairs down to our bathroom and that is my phone right there. I was talking to my friend on Marco. I have her paused right now, but that's what that is. And so anyways, we have these stairs down here. I hate that they have carpet on them because it gets so dirty. This house, we bought this house about three months ago and um, this carpet was already there. I would like to pull it up just because this cream color, I don't know, it just shows everything. But anyways, we have these stairs and then we have hers and his closets. I'm not going to show you our closets right now just because that's not really the point of this video and honestly his is really messy. <laughs> but anyways as you walk down you enter our bathroom and you have my vanity over here with all of my dirty laundry and all of my stuff everywhere. I just haven't cleaned it. It's Monday so this weekend I just spent with family time and I didn't worry about cleaning. I did get um, an Amazon package of headbands, so I've got that there, but it's pretty cluttered. And then this is going to shock you guys, but I don't know how, I have no idea how his side is so clean, but it is. The only thing is his drawer is open. That is it. But this is his side. I love having separate vanities from him. It's just so nice. But anyways, then we have the walk-in shower here, and I will show you. Let's turn the light on in there so this is our walk-in shower and I don't have it organized at all in here it's just kind of that's his little nook and then I have that nook and that and that and I set stuff down there which those are just cleaning products that I leave in the shower but yeah it's pretty gross in here um if you want to get real I have hair because my hair gets caught in the drain and my husband will pull it out of the drain and lay it here for me to throw away I don't know why he won't just throw it away from me, but that's real life. I've got hair in my shower, so that's pretty gross. So we're going to be scrubbing this out. And then I have some mold because this tile grows mold so easily. So as you can see, that is mold growing. So I'm going to be bleaching that and scrubbing it. It's very echoey in here. So let's go out of here. Okay, so anyways, this is my garden tub. I'm going to be showing you how I clean the jets and how I clean this tub. Um, so we'll be doing that and then I'll be cleaning in here, just the toilet and we added these shelves. Um, and then of course this mess, but, um, the first thing I'm going to do is throw all of the washable stuff in the washing machine. So I'm going to wash my shower curtain, my rugs, our hand towels, towels, all that. I'm going to go throw those into the wash real quick. That's going to be the first thing, and then I'm going to go ahead and get started. And while I clean, I guess little Miss Bailey's going to be laying in my bed taking a nap, huh? Yeah? 
So the very first thing I do when I do an extreme deep clean like this is I take everything out of the bathroom. And the first thing I'm gonna do also is wash all of the towels, the hand towels, the shower curtain, the rugs, all of that. So as you can see, I gathered up everything there and I took it and threw it in the washing machine that way it could be washing and drying while I was cleaning. So the next step is just to take everything off of the countertops. I'm showing you here these little brushes that I found at Target. This set was like $6 and some change and I thought it would be great for scrubbing the tile. So I picked those up and I did really like them. You'll see me using them here in a little bit. But like I was saying, the next step is just to take everything out of the bathroom and or put it up where it belongs but I want to clear off all of the surfaces so that I can get to bleaching. Cause we all walk to the same beat. And from town to town feel like you've been in. Had enough, had enough, had enough. No matter how it hurts, you're gonna let it bleed. No matter how you feel. I picked up these reusable gloves at Target. They had small, medium, and large. I got the small because I have tiny child size hands, but they come in these really cute colors. Of course, I chose to use the mint color because that's my favorite, but I wanted to wear gloves today just because I was gonna be using a lot of bleach, and I know that that is really hard on my skin, especially in the wintertime, but really anytime. So that is why I'm wearing gloves today. I don't normally wear gloves if I'm just gonna do a bathroom clean just because it's my family, my germs I never have, but because I am gonna be using so much bleach today, I chose to go ahead and wear them and I got that cute little set, those two pairs at Target. So the star of the show today is going to be this Clorox Cleanup Cleaner Plus Bleach in the Lemon Scent. This is my favorite by far. I've repurchased it and will continue. It smells really nice. It does a great job of cleaning and I love it. There's also a blue one that I love as well, but this is my go-to when it comes to cleaning the bathrooms. If you have boys or even men that you have issues with like them getting a pee around the toilet. This is a great thing to have. They also have a urine stopper one. And as you can see here, I'm showing some black mold in the shower and then I'm pointing out some of the water stains in my shower, but this bleach will kill that. So I love it. It kills mold, it kills urine, obviously all kinds of bacteria, but I don't know, I just love it. And then I forgot to show you guys what I was using here, but I'm using this Kaboom. I think it's with OxyClean, and I'm using that for the tub and the shower. It smells really good, but it does a great job of breaking down the soap scum. Also, I'm showing you here, my husband always grabs my hair from the drain and then sets it in a little pile for me to throw away. I don't know why he doesn't just go ahead and throw it away, but I'm showing you there, that is gross. That is so nasty, but I'm not holding back today. I'm gonna show you for real, like, my bathroom gets gross too. So I was scooping that up and then a little bit that was in the drain and throwing that away. I don't know, I can handle so many things, but when it comes to drains and hair, I get sick to my stomach. It's like the worst job when it comes to cleaning a bathroom. Did anyone notice that in the clip before this, I said that the Clorox bleach kills urine. <laughs> it's late. I've been working on this video for two days straight. It's 9.30. I still have probably about two hours of work left to do, so I'm a little loopy. So if you hear me say anything crazy, just bear with me. This is also the star of the show here, this regular Clorox bleach. And fun fact, I didn't know this, but you guys actually taught this to me last year. I had been purchasing the Clorox Splashless bleach and it actually does not disinfect. It just whitens whites, but that's pretty much it. It does not disinfect and I had no idea. And you guys told me that and if you do read in the fine print on the bottle, it actually does state that it does not kill germs. So I will not be purchasing, repurchasing that anymore. I just buy the regular bleach because I definitely want it to kill germs. So to clean my jets out, I just fill it up with hot water, just enough to get where it can run through the jets. And then I pour it about a cup, cup and a half of bleach. 
and I'm gonna just run that through for about 10 minutes and that will clean the jets out and then I'll let the water out and you'll see me clean the bathtub as well. But I'm starting from the top, so that's gonna be my light fixtures. I'm just taking a damp cloth and wiping all of the dust off and when I was up here, I honestly don't know that these have ever been cleaned since they've been here and I don't know how long they've been in this bathroom, but it looked like it had been a while. Okay, so I did forget to mention, after I took everything out of the bathroom, I sprayed everything down. So I sprayed the toilet down with bleach, I sprayed the shower down with the Kaboom stuff, I sprayed down the countertops with the bleach, and I went ahead and you saw me go ahead and fill up the bathtub. But I'm letting everything kind of just pre-soak so it can kill everything that's on there. So that's what I'm, that was the second step. So first step, take everything out. Second step, go ahead and just spray everything down. I thought I handled this so well I know we had the right intentions But somehow it came to an end I was looking for a remedy Now I bet I'm losing front of me I was looking for a remedy Now I bet I'm losing front of me yeah. I'm just using this spick and span stuff that I got at the Dollar Tree a while ago. It smells really good. It was a dollar and it's okay. I mean, I don't have anything negative to say about it. It does smell really nice, but I just keep it up here in our bathroom. So that's why you probably don't see me use it usually because it's something I just keep in the bathroom. But I'm just using that to wipe down the cabinets in the bathroom. And while I have you, if you want to go ahead and hit that thumbs up and give this video a like if you're enjoying it, I would really appreciate it. So now I'm gonna use these brushes that I got and I normally just use an old toothbrush and that works great But I wanted something that was a little bit more Dense for the shower because I wanted to get into that shower like the tiles in between them Because I get like that red. I don't know if it's just Tennessee or maybe other places but the, we get these red water stains and so I really wanted something that was gonna be able to scrub and I did end up loving these. The set was a great set. And then it had this little rubber thing that you see me using that it says this is how you're supposed to use it and it's supposed to pull stuff up. And as you can see, maybe a tiny, tiny little bit, but it really didn't do much. So I don't really see me using that little rubber tip unless you guys have a good idea for me that I can use that for. Do you have a tool like this and you use it? If you have any ideas, definitely let me know. But the brush side of them 
is great. So I do love this little set. And if you can find it at your Target or I'm sure Walmart anywhere sells them, I would recommend getting that for when you're cleaning the bathroom. And I'm sure you can use them in a lot of other places in your home as well, but I'll be leaving them in my bathroom just because they're great for my shower. I'm curious to know you've made it this far into the video have I motivated you to clean your bathroom yet if I have definitely let me know in the comments it makes me really happy when I hear your feedback saying that I got you to get up and clean and um, I also love when you guys share with me like your before and afters if you've organized a space or cleaned a space so if you want to follow me on Instagram and you want to tag me I will definitely reshare for my followers to see because we really enjoy seeing them. I think they're super satisfying and I just love knowing that I've motivated you guys. Also right there you saw a clip of me doing something very strange and that is my Clorox toilet wand case. So I took the toilet wands out of it and once the jets were done running in the bathtub, I just went ahead and turned them off and I was letting the water out and it takes quite a while for the water to drain out of there but since it was bleach water I went ahead and just dunked those in there so they could be soaking and disinfecting and that's kind of how I do a deep clean of that thing I will wipe it off with like a Clorox wipe in between but I wanted to soak it in the bleach water I was going to be scrubbing out the bathtub anyways so that works really good for me it gets it super clean and it's basically like brand new again so that's why I was drowning my toilet my Clorox toilet wand container in my bathtub there was a point to it I promise Can somebody save me? Save me? Also, if you've made it this far in the video, I want to say thank you. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, now would be the perfect time to do so. If you've made it this far, that must mean that I've got you interested and you like these types of videos and I do them every single week. So I would love to have you be a part of my channel and see your screen names in my comments. I know who you guys are like as far as when it, your screen names and stuff like I know who comments all the time and I've started to build relationships with you guys, especially over on Instagram and you guys are the best. You're so sweet. So I, if you're new here and you like my video, I would love to have you um, be a part of my channel as well. So what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. It's totally free and that way it'll just notify you when I upload and it's just a way to help support my channel.
Here I'm showing you the baseboards. They are pretty dusty and gross. So I'm going to show you a little hack or just a way, maybe not really a hack, but a way to clean them. So I picked up this brush at Target. You can probably get it anywhere, probably even the Dollar Tree, but it does have this little extra part on the top there that you can get into the little grooves, depending on how your crown molding or not crown molding <laughs> your baseboards, depending on how they're made, if they have a lot of different designs and grooves in them that would be a great little tool to have but this just i sprayed them down with the bleach and then this just breaks up all of that dried on dust and hair and just anything else that might be on their product if it's in the bathroom you might have like a lot of hairspray but this just breaks it up really really easily and then i just take a wet washcloth or a damp washcloth and then just take one swipe basically and that wipes it clean and you'll see a clip at the end of my baseboards look brand spanking new baby <laughs> Okay, so for all of the things, this could be a step that a lot of people don't take, but I do because I feel like if I'm going to be deep cleaning my bathroom to this extent, I don't want to be putting back dirty product. So I go through and wipe everything down. I'm just using my Thieves Cleaner just because it smells nice. It's not harsh on my hands or anything. And it disinfects so I'm just using that and I'm literally wiping down everything everything that sits on my counters all of my products everything that's going back in the shower all of it it all gets wiped down and it really doesn't take that long and it is a nice little extra step to take because this stuff gets so dusty sitting in your bathroom because of the toilet paper lint and the towel lint I don't know what it is about bathrooms. It's probably mostly like the toilet paper and towel lint, but my stuff gets so dusty. It has like a quarter of an inch thick dust on everything if I don't clean it regularly. I was showing you there, that was pretty gross. That was mostly just makeup, but all of my other stuff. And then the stuff in the shower just gets like soap gunk and soap scuzz. And if you're not cleaning it, you're gonna put it down in your clean shower and get those nasty rings that you get from your products, just from stuff being on it and all that. So I recommend doing this. It might take you maybe 10 to 15 minutes more time, but it's totally worth it.
So now I'm just going to vacuum really quickly. I'm trying to avoid a couple of spots on the floor that are still wet, but I'm just going to vacuum really quickly and then mop. I ran out of my bleach, so I just had a little bit of that Clorox cleanup bleach left. So I just poured what I had left into hot mop water and used that. So I'm just going to mop with basically bleach water. Hey guys, so I'm done cleaning the bathroom, but I had everything still in the dryer drying that I washed. So um, it is, what time is it? It is two o'clock, so my groceries are ready. So I had to take a break anyways, so I'm gonna run and grab our groceries. I usually grab them on Mondays. And then um, by the time that I come home and I unload everything, everything will be dry and I can put it back in there. And then I'm gonna film it clean for you so you can definitely, oh, that's my windshield wipers. It is raining here. But um, you could definitely stay tuned if you wanna see like the overall everything clean. That's the most satisfying part if you ask me. But I told Kinsley she's in the back. I don't know if you can see her. Kinsley, can you lean your head over here so they could see you or wave your hand and say hi? There she is. I told her since she was so good while I was cleaning the house that we would go get some ice cream as a treat. I wanted to treat myself as well because I've been working so hard today. My eyes are like burning from the bleach. So we're gonna go get some ice cream really quick and then we're gonna go pick up our groceries. Are you excited for ice cream? I want, I want chocolate. Chocolate? Okay. got groceries we stopped and had a little treat at Dairy Queen and then I unloaded the groceries and by that time everything was done in the dryer and so I'm just putting everything back and it's all done my bathroom looks and smells and feels amazing I hope that you guys got some inspiration to do your bathroom and I hope you enjoy this footage of the bathroom clean I did decide to put that little three drawer thing somewhere else just because I felt like it looked too cluttered on my countertop so I didn't move that above the toilet you'll see in a second but anyways don't leave yet because it's not over I have a what's for dinner type portion of this so I'm going to be sharing with you what I made for dinner on this night and it's super easy and quick so if you do this clean with me maybe you can plan to do this meal on that night as well because I know you're going to be exhausted because I was. You set the fire and tone to your promised land You've got a whole religion in the palm of your hand It's like the whole world turned its back on us And now you can't tell if it's heaven or hell It's like no Sorry, but you never can tell
if you guys want to know where I got anything at all in my bathroom, please let me know in the comments and I will totally let you know. Just ask me. We finally finished cleaning the bathroom and now I'm importing some of my footage before I clean up the rest of the house which is a disaster by the way but the bathroom looks amazing and the dogs are hanging out in the office with me Tucker Tucker say hi Bailey <laughs> but anyways I'm gonna have to cook dinner in about an hour but I'm trying to get this footage imported so I can clear up some space on my SD card Okay, so I'm using this bird's eye broccoli that is in the frozen section. One of y'all recommended it to me. Thank you so much. I love it. So all you do have to do is boil it or you can microwave it and it just tastes like fresh steamed broccoli. And then I have some regular french fries and then some sweet potato fries and some ground beef because I'm going to be making burgers. I like sweet potato fries. My husband likes them as well, but the girls like regular fries, so I make that for them. So I'm just getting my ground beef. Bre I told you guys, it was it's a late night. <laughs> um, I'm getting some ground beef and I put it in that bowl there, as you can see, and I'm using this chipotle and garlic seasoning. I love this stuff, it tastes so good. So I'm just sprinkling that in there. I'm gonna put some minced onion in there. You can do fresh onion if you want. I just prefer this because I don't like the texture of onion, but I like the flavor of it. And then I'm just putting some pepper and then I'm just going to take my hands and mix that up, make it into patties and cook them. And then I'm boiling the broccoli. I'm going to season that with a little bit of garlic, salt, and pepper. And then I'm going to be putting the fries into the air fryer. <laughs> I put mine in there on 400 degrees for 20 minutes and that does really good. I do open it and shake them about halfway through. And then I'm just cutting up some tomato and I will be tearing off some lettuce and then I'll have all the condiments out for the burgers in a minute. I'll show you what we put on ours, but um, that's pretty much it. That's all I did. This, tape, this took about 10 minutes to make and it was delicious. It took 20 minutes to make, not 10 minutes. I just said that, Jess. I told you guys, I'm not even gonna go back and correct it because I'm tired. <laughs> but yeah, it took about 20 minutes to make all in all, but it really wasn't that much work at all. So I used Swiss cheese instead of cheddar cheese and it was really good. I loved it. And fun fact, something I did not know, maybe you do, maybe I'm just, the only one in the world who didn't know this but swiss cheese actually has a lot more protein in it than other cheeses so if that's something that matters to you now you know but it's also very delicious and that's it for dinner and I did make chicken nuggets for my little one because she would have had a fit if I tried to make her eat a burger and I do not believe in making kids eat things that they don't like so I also don't believe in making my life harder than it has to be <laughs> so I just made her chicken nuggets but this was dinner it was delicious I hope it inspired you guys to make it if you do and you want to send me a picture and tag me I will definitely share it but don't leave yet because I still have one more special surprise for you so hold tight
Okay, so if you made it this far, first off, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. But my friend Grizel has a channel as well, and she's done some cleaning motivation for you guys. Here's a clip from that video. As you can tell, her home is beautiful, but she is so sweet. She is so kind. I really think you guys will like her personality. She's very upbeat and positive. I love following her stories on Instagram because she just makes me smile, but she has three precious little boys, and she's also doing a dinner recipe for you guys, and by the looks of it, it looks amazing, so I can't wait to watch her video, but she also has cleaning motivation for you, and then she has that meal at the end, so you guys will definitely want to check this out. If you need some mommy motivation, as you can see, she has little ones, so she has lots of toys, lots of laundry, but I really think you guys will genuinely like her personality, and I love her accent. I know that sounds crazy, but I'd love it. So head on over to her channel, let her know I sent you, show her some love, and thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for making it this far. I know today was a long video, but I appreciate each and every one of you. If you did come over from Grizel's channel and you made it this far, hi, welcome to my channel, and I will see everybody in my next video. Thank you.